Hey everybody, I hope you are well. So in this uh, demo for my color theory class, we are going to do color globes. Yay, color globes. So happy. I know I am. Not really, but <laughs> uh, it's a lot of mixing you guys are going to be doing. So um, prepare yourself, but you will learn a lot about colors, um, which are basically hues tints which is adding white and also shades which is adding um blacks are the uh, complementary color of that color <clears throat> so things you're going to need so uh you're definitely going to need your printout which will be on tcu at on online um so i have my printout of my globes this is the um, big size as well as um, we have our small size. So whichever one you decide to do, you could definitely use um, these printouts as a template. So just like in past assignments, uh, you wanna do the same with this. So I print out my big size of globes. Um, for my transfer, I use uh, graphite for the back. So I just put that graphite down, very elementary. Uh, then I went ahead and I looked at my actual um, size of my paper and I decided okay what type of composition would best describe um, what I'm actually seeing uh, so a diagonal composition uh, best describe it as well as um, it gives a, a little bit of an interesting composition and it, it places uh, the globes into my format so if you want to you can do them side by side or you could do them diagonally how I have them uh, but once you have that, you of course you can tape it down. You can see my tape at the end of my paper. Tape it down. I traced it with a red, um, a red ballpoint pen, and I traced everything down for my glow. So you don't have to worry about the drawing. You're just transferring that over um, to your 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 um, your paper. My um, paper, watercolor paper. I'm using um, the Kenson's acrylic and oil paper. So I've already ahead of time uh, gessoed it, so I have gray gesso over it. Um, and of course, my transfer is graphite for right now. <clears throat> so let me put this up. Um, so uh, what you're going to need to do uh, once you have your paper primed and ready and you have your transfer on your paper, you want to mix. So what I did, um, just in case, because I know some of you are still getting comfortable with mixing. So you want to mix your colors ahead of time. So I looked at, and of course this is in black and white, but I looked at the um, the color wheel that I gave you guys that matches our actual palette. So remember you guys, um, our palette is, is a limited palette. It's a palette that has... Um, primary colors so we have all of our primary colors which is red blue uh, and uh, yellow and we have two of those primary colors so we have a yellow that leans towards the blue side and then we also have a yellow that leans towards the red side so we have a cool yellow and we have a warm yellow we also have a cool red and a warm red we also have a cool blue and a warm blue <laughs> so that means we have to uh, mix all of our secondaries and tertiary colors um, and stay within um, our temperature range of our palette so um, as you can see on this um, globe one side of the globe is our cool side and also it leans towards our shades which is um adding black to it or adding uh its complement of that color on the other side is the warm side um and this um is uh our colors that are moving towards our tints which is white so although this is a printout and uh the ink is pretty bad <laughs> it's not the best clear uh example of it but um, I did a demo not too long ago in gouache. It was a while ago, actually. Uh, but this gives you a clear idea. So, this ring around the globe that's here, um, which is here, and it's the second one before the last. This is where all of your pure color, your high saturated colors are going to be. 
Um, so we're going to have um, yellow, which is out of the tube. We're going to have our uh, yellow orange, orange. This is going to be red orange. I know this is red right now, but for us, it's going to be uh, red orange and then it's going to be red. So these are the colors that you're going to mix. This little sliver that's here, I don't know if you guys see it. Um, and it may read a little bit dark on camera, but this is a sliver of green because there is a sliver of green that's there. Um, so you want to start with this ring that's here because this is where the actual hue begins. So um, if we take this orange that's here, this orange is going to move up in tints. So it's going to it's going to have a uh, white mixed in in it more white mixed in with it even more white mixed in with it and then even more white so it's going this this um this planar shift here is going to have uh less orange in it um and more of that white tint i tend to um put a little bit just a little bit of yellow in each tint uh because i just don't want my tints to look pasty <laughs> so when I mean a little bit, I mean a little bit <laughs> uh, because our um, titanium white can make those um, mixes look pretty pasty. So when we move down to um, this last little um, sliver of our globe, so this is going to have a little bit of either A, your complement, or B, uh, a little bit of black mixed in it. Um, so it's the same thing for your... Uh, your your other side of the, the globe, which is the cool side. Uh, so remember, these colors are going to uh, move towards your, your shades. And your shades is either adding the complement or you're adding uh, black. I'm okay with you guys using black. So um, this row that's here, this whole row that's here, uh, is where the actual hues of the colors are going to be. So we're going to have yellow, yellow green, green, um, blue green, and then blue. So that's going to be this strip that's here. Um, so when you're painting, I can't stress enough, get this strip in first. <laughs> if anything, get this strip in first because <laughs> that's going to help you uh, with um, painting this globe. So in this demo, I'm not going to paint this globe in full because I just don't want <laughs> this uh, this demo to become in one hour and a half or possibly two hours, a movie. I don't want it to be a movie, you guys. <laughs> I just want to get you guys started and that's it. <laughs> All right, so um, I just realized that uh, I'm set up and I have no water. So I'm just going to talk really quick about my palette and then I'm going to... Um, break a clip and then I'll come back and uh, start painting it so really quick <clears throat> you guys excuse my palette um I have a demo that I'm gonna have to do so I, I wanted to keep my uh my uh value scale palette uh so for today once again when we go back to this globe that's here I've already pre-mixed my yellow uh yellow orange orange uh, and uh, my red orange and my red so the only colors we have right out of our tube you guys <laughs> is um, our cadmium red so that's this here this is what you're gonna need your cadmium red um, and <clears throat> your cadmium yellow uh, medium so those are the only colors that we have that's right out the tube you're going to have to mix your yellow orange, orange, and red orange. On this side of my palette, I've already mixed uh, my tints. So if I wanted to, well, I am. I'm starting with orange. So this, I would put down, of course, my orange will already be there because I'm going to do it. Uh, and then I would move up into that tint. So that means I'm going to move up. And this is my orange. I'm going to move up with those tints. Uh, so this color is going to go here. This uh, color, or, or tint, however you want to call it, is going to go here. This one is going to go in this one. Uh, and this one is going to go at that top tier that's there. So I'm going to be moving up in my um, tints. Um, 
on the slice of the the um the globe so <clears throat> it's good to have your palette pre-mix ahead of time so and and if you think about it i only got this mixed and this mix like there's still a whole lot that you guys are going to have to mix so just make sure you you um give yourself more than enough time to mix everything or you can mix things as you go um that's another way of doing it um as well uh so once you have your palette mix once again all you have to do after that is paint so that's all you have to do so i'm gonna break this clip and i will see you in the next clip when i get some water <laughs> Alright you guys, so I'm back with water. So um, once again, the first thing I want to get in is this strip that's here. So it's the strip that's right before um, your last little slice of that globe. So I'm going to start uh, in the middle. So what I want to get is I want to get, or I can start this way. I'm going to start with yellow. Uh, so let me mix that in. And you may have to do a couple of layers um, depending on uh, how opaque or yellow is. And I don't think it's that opaque. Right now I'm just mixing. And so what I'm going to do, um, that way this video is not as long as it should be. Um, I'm going to get quiet. <laughs> that way I can... Um, I can just fast forward through it and you can kind of just see it overlapping or time lapse of it. Alright, so I'm going to get started.
Alright guys, so this is the end of my demo. So this is just to get you guys started. So as you can see, I started with um, my actual row for my hues. Then once you get that down, from there you're going to move in your tints. So um, these, this orange is going to get lighter. So I'm mixing white, lighter, I'm mixing more white lighter even more white and lighter more white so this is that tint of that orange so also um give yourself time because although this is reading well on camera i still would have to probably go over this maybe one more layer and possibly some of these one, one more layer so just kind of give yourself time to layer <clears throat> and um uh, make sure you block out that time for yourself. Don't want to wait until the last minute and you're trying to whip this out. You can see it's a, it's a bit time consuming because you have to do a lot of mixing. Alright guys, so um, this is the start of the demo for your assignment, which is the globe assignment. Um, and uh, I will see you guys in the next demo. <laughs> so uh, enjoy your rest of your day and I hope this helps. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.